I just wanted to make a quick video for some of you guys out there that uh, want to put their own nano tank together. I think it's much easier than buying an all-in-one and uh, a lot of people, especially on the American forums, seem to think that that's all that's available. But uh, I've, I've had this 12-inch uh, cube or 300 millimeter cube running for about six months now and I've just pulled it apart and redone it just to add a few uh, few extra things like a uh, full siphon and derso. So the derso there, the, the standpipe and the full siphon going straight out the back there, regulated by the tap. The other pipe there is the return from the pump. So I've just got that uh, silicon in a couple of spots to the tank to limit all the vibration. And I'm just using a really cheap, I think it was about $40 Aqua One, 1200 litre per hour pump. Now that pump, by the time it gets back up out of the sump, um, up to the top, uh, given the head loss, we'll probably get about 400 litres per hour. And for my 17 litre display here at the front, that's all I need. So I can limit, limit the um, mess in the display area, which is that area there, by not having any other electrical equipment in the display. For the sump, 31 litre bucket that's just going to be filled up with water um, so probably about this level here to allow for overflow and all that will be in there is the sump pump and some live rock. Uh, so all your, the only other parts you need, I've got a um, 70 watt metal halide shop fitter picked up secondhand from another reefer that was only uh, I think 35 bucks and I just knocked up a quick little stand that that just sits in there so that sits on the tank like so all right so for a background all I did was get a 300 millimeter porcelain tile and cut it down a little silicon that in so that leaves me with a really big weir area for the size of the tank but that's fine because I'll place some macro algae in this section here and all I did was cut some grooves in the top there with the angle grinder for an overflow uh, weir comb. Alright, um, just a little bit more about the plumbing for you guys that don't know or want to set one up for yourself. I drilled two holes in this tank myself picked up a, um, a diamond coated hole saw off eBay it was about eight dollars plus shipping for two they worked really fine I, I then sold those on to uh, other reefers just for the cost price which was great because I don't need them any longer so one hole in the bottom one hole in the top 32 millimeter hole saw and these are a 15 millimeter uh, bulkhead which is the fitting you need to buy from an irrigation or pump shop to um, to go through the tank without um, without getting any leakage, and this one here is a 20 millimeter for the Durso. So the reasoning for the two overflows is the full siphon here with the tap. Uh, the water level will sit about here, halfway up the Durso pipe, and the full siphon will take out full siphon as it says with no air getting sucked in at all. So you adjust the amount of water that gets taken out with the cock here and the Durso just acts as a, another siphon except it does draw air in through a small hole in the top cap and it only draws a very small amount of water so I adjust it so I'm just below just below the level of the uh, bottom of the T-piece and the small amount of water trickling down into the sump creates no noise at all. So it's a virtually silent system. Alright, I'll just set this up and see how we look. 